Ostrehu by Imploding Colon, read by Deathlight, Chapter 120, Maidens. And he was all like, you're going down. So I said, in history maybe, see you boys at the finish line. The five pure remains giggled from where they sat on velvet cushions strategically placed in orbit of Rainbow Dash's seat. There to the balcony loomed beyond and a gentle breeze was wafting in through the marble pillars that bordered the torch of the chamber. As for Rainbow Dash, she was lazily reclined on a lounge seat, digging into a brass plate of crisp green vegetables. She scarfed another one down as she smiled pleasantly at the small audience of bubbly filly surrounding her. These things are absolutely despicable! I love them! They giggled some more as she sat up, brushing her hooves off. You know, ladies. Gulping a final morsel down, Rainbow plucked disgustedly at the length of white's silken robe that was loosely clad to her figure. I could have done without all this frilly nonsense. She rolled her eyes as a lock of spiraling colors dipped below her brow. And I may have grumbled a little when y'all decided to braid my mane. But it's so gorgeous! One merit shirt. <laughs> We've never seen anything like it before. I had another smiling. It's absolutely amazing. But all in all, Rainbow nodded and smirked slightly at the group. I think I'm starting to warm up to this. Maybe royalty isn't as full of hot air as I thought. We were instructed to make you feel as comfortable as possible. Yeah, well, you've done most of that, let me tell ya. Rainbow Dash stood on the edge of the seat, grinning. So, like, do you girls love in this place or something? In revolving sessions, one said, We work for a month or two and return to our families for a sabbatical. Explained another. A third nodded. The queen relies on her services, but she never monopolizes our intention. Hmm, yes. A fourth turned and smiled at her fellow servants. Because if she did, our cult friends would be truly, truly sad forever. The five laughed merrily amongst themselves. Dreamless smile lingered on the precipice of her face. Cold friends. She limply nodded as her right eye twitched. Right, um... She shifted where she sat and spoke. So, uh, are y'all happy to live on this giant phallic spike in the middle of Marilyn? Oh, we were most certainly proud to work and live here in British Stone. One replied. And to be in such close proximity to her majesty is truly glorious. And it gives us a chance to witness handsome foreign dignitaries from across the world. Another chimed in. Such a Chancellor Nystein of Darkstein. And of course we are always graced by special surprises. Said another. Such as a chance to serve as an exotic princess such as yourself. Um, yeah. Rainbow Dash was attacked with a case of the yawns. She breathed her way through it and refocused her vision on the group of five. About that, you all realize I'm no princess, right? The maidens merely giggled. Oh, don't be so humble, leave modesty to us. I mean it, seriously. Rainbow tried to point, but a silken sleeve dangled in the way. She fussed with her robe before ultimately groaning. This isn't really me, <laughs> I'm a buzz royal as a hill of spent ice cream cones. She yawned suddenly, her eyelids falling heavy. <sighs> Even if I don't understand that last one, still. She blinked, the world growing foggy before the torch light. I'm... I'm just a Pegasus who... who's heading east. Hmm, so you're on a journey then? Seeking true love? Exploration? Diplomacy? Uh, awesomeness. Rainbow Dash slurred, her head teetering as she yawned again. Her brow furrowed beneath the prismatic braids dangling off her skull. Jeez, where... where did the attack of the drowsy gremlins come from? I... The smile on the chambermaid's faces left. They exchanged glances, then not in occurrence. With singular grace, they stood up. She wishes to see her now. Let's have a rest. See... see who... who? Rainbow Dash gulped, feeling drowsy. I... I don't get it. She bit her lip. 
Something's wrong. The torchlight disappeared, one flame after another. As the balcony and the stars beyond spun out of focus. I... I feel so... so lame. The last thing she saw, for better or for worse, was the Danny Quintana fillies softly converging on her.